Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to look at the sample mean vector and the sample covariance matrix. We are going to use matrix algebra to find x bar and s. The formula for the mean vector is x bar equals 1 over n x transpose j, where n is the number of observations, x dash is the transpose of matrix x and lowercase j is a vector of ones of order n by 1. The matrix x is an element of R of order n by p where again n is the number of observations that is the number of rows of matrix x and p is the number of columns of the matrix x where P represents the number of variables. The sample covariance is given by 1 over n minus 1, x dash, multiplied by i minus 1 over n, capital J, times x, where n is the number of observations, where x dash is the transpose of x, Capital I is the identity matrix of order N by N and capital J is a square matrix of ones of order N by N. So let's see a question where we need to find the sample mean vector and the sample covariance matrix. We have a matrix X of order 3 by 2, you need to find the sample mean vector and the sample covariance matrix. From the matrix, we can see that n, which is the number of observation, which is the number of rows, is 3. And p, which is the number of columns, the number of variables, is 2. So we have n, n, p. Next, let's see how we find the sample mean vector. So, to find x bar, we need x dash, which is the transpose. So, we have matrix x. From x, we can find x dash, which is the rows becomes the column. So, we have 4, 1, minus 1, 3, 3, 5. X bar is equal to 1 over n, which is 3. You multiply by x transpose, which is the matrix. 4, 1, minus 1, 3, 3, 5. You multiply by lowercase j. j is an element of R of order n by 1, which means j is of order 3 by 1. So we have a vector of 1 of order 3 by 1. We perform matrix multiplication. We have 1 over 3 rows times column. We have 4 plus minus 1 plus 3. 1 plus 3 plus 5, we simplify, we have 6, 9, scalar multiplication, we have the vector 2, 3. So there we have it, the mean vector x bar, where the 2 represents the mean of the first variable and 3 represents the mean of the second variable. We need to find s. But first, let's see the order of the identity matrix. The identity matrix will be an element of R of order 3 by 3, since N is equal to 3. And J will be a matrix of order 3 by 3 as well. As a first step, let's find I minus 1 over N, J. So, I minus 1 over N, J is the matrix, the free by free identity matrix.
you minus 1 over 3, multiply by the matrix of 1s. You simplify. After simplifying, you should have this matrix. Next, we're going to take this matrix. We are going to multiply by the matrix X. So we're going to have... I minus 1 over NJ multiply by the matrix X. We have already calculated this matrix. We got this matrix is of order 3 by 3. This matrix is of order 3 by 2. So the resulting matrix will be of order 3 by 2. Performing a matrix multiplication, you're going to get this matrix. 2 minus 3, 1 minus 2, 0, 2. Next, we need to find S is equal to 1 over 3 minus 1, which is 2. You multiply by the X transpose, which is 4, 1 minus 1, 3, 3, 5. Multiply by this matrix, which is 2 minus 3, 1 minus 2, 0, 2. Simplify, we have half 14 minus 2 minus 2, 8. Scalar multiplication, we have 7 minus 1, 1 minus 1, 4. So this is the sample covariance.